Hi, I'm Dave Wolber from University of San Francisco. I'm going to show you some and app inventor for Android. And in particular, I'm going to show you kind of how drawing canvases and animation canvases work. And I just dragged a canvas component in here. And generally speaking, you'll set the width to fill parent. So the canvas goes all, you know, all the way across the phone. And then for the height, you might set to say 300 pixels. And that'll give us a canvas of that size. What I'm going to do for this, for this uh, sample is put in a label here that just what it's going to report on is um, the last touched pixel, and that label is just going to be kind of a fixed label. But then I'll add another label down here. Um, oops, I grabbed the image by mistake. Let's get rid of that guy. Uh, delete that image and I'll grab a label and I'm going to call that label uh, my um, XY label and that's where I'll actually show the XY coordinates for, for where you're touched and then I'm just going to use a little screen arrangement to, to make these two labels look a little better. Um, I want this last touch pixel first and then I want this guy right after. And I'm going to start out that what I'm calling my XY label is none because the last touch pixel is none until I until I start. So my goal is kind of when the user presses somewhere on the canvas, I'm going to show the XY coordinate. And what I use this for is for for my class is so um, when they're learning how canvases work and and how the XY coordinate system works, they can play around play around with this app. Um, okay, so I'm going to now go to the to the blocks editor and I've got my blocks editor up here and in this case the behavior is is pretty simple um, when someone touches the canvas I'm going to want to uh, display some information in, in, in my label so when they touch the canvas I'm going to set the text of my XY label and what I'm going to do is put a make text block in there so I can kind of add a few things combined into that label and, and what I want to put in there is is this X you know so the X of where the the user touches on the canvas and then I'm going to put a comma in between you know we'll try to make this look like a X comma Y coordinate there's my comma and then I'll go back to my definitions and grab the Y and I notice whenever I bring an event in, like this touched event, it's got arguments, and I can go grab those arguments from the my definitions. They kind of appear there after I drag in the event. Uh, okay, so there's my behavior. I have got an emulator up, and, and let's see if, if the emulator works. Um, with the emulator, you don't touch, you you click. So if I click, I get the coordinate of where I where I pressed. Um, we can also, if we want, kind of draw a ball just to just to have some kind of, or draw a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle, and I'm just going to go grab the X and the Y. And what I'll do is I'll set the radius to to one because just to, you know to to kind of portray that a pixel, you know, the X Y coordinates are in in pixel dimensions, and so when I draw these circles, they'll be very tiny. They'll be small and they'll just be a pixel in radius. So now when I click, you're going to see these little dots all around. That's a pixel, and it still kind of tells me the coordinate. If I kind of want to know the width of the canvas, well, it's about 315, and I don't know where my canvas ends, 286 maybe? Uh, I guess I made it 300, so right about there is the bottom of the canvas. So anywhere, there's, there's my app for kind of demonstrating the XY coordinates of an app inventor canvas. Thank you very much.